down 2014, we're mm -hmm. kind of looking at, okay, what are we going to do for New Year's Eve? And then we get into January hitting 1st. the gym and Everybody's going flocking. on the diet. Everybody's flocking. They'll get the diet. Books are flying off the shelves, trying to lose weight. But instead of starting expensive diet plans, gym memberships, why not try something more sustainable? Yeah, something that will actually make you that? feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. So joining us with tips is Dr. Laura Kristoff, professor of nutrition. And we're so lucky to have you here today. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I did. Thanks so much for having me. And we're talking about New Year's resolutions. But you're kind of telling us to kind of focus on not the whole resolution idea, but one specific thing. Right, right. So I'm, I'm talking about a habit-based approach today. So most people, you know, they decide to change everything at once. They say, I'm going to start a total new nutrition plan, and I'm going to start a gym membership, and I'm going to work out, you know, six hours a week when I was working out zero before. <laughs> and, you know, that just doesn't work. No. It, hasn't, it hasn't been proven to work, but it has been proven that it takes, you know, somewhere between two and four weeks to develop a new habit. You can't say that changing your entire nutrition and physical activity pattern is a habit. That's a lot of habits. But if you can focus on one single intention and one single habit every three or four weeks or so, that adds up to you know somewhere between 12 and 17 a year. And bam, at the end of 2015, you've transformed your diet and your exercise, now, right? Dr. Christoph, That's right. are you trying to say, like, let's say uh, January 1st comes and I say my, my one habit I want to start, I want to hit the gym more. If I do that between two and four weeks, then it becomes a habit and it'll become a whole lot easier for me to sustain that momentum? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And, and if, if it's a physical activity goal, you have to be really specific about it too and, and something that's, you know, realistic for you. So you have to say, you know, okay, I'm going to hit the gym three times this week at this time. This is the time I have childcare. You know, this mm -hmm. is the time I um, realistically can wake up by, you know, really thinking about something that's just a little step, just a little bit more, a little bit better. But it'll get easier after that four week mark. Right, right. Okay, and so get through it. Yeah, and then you can start a new one after that four weeks. Like once you feel like, okay, I've got the hang of this, then you can add one oh, more. Good idea. And so you can add on and add on until you have a whole bunch of new habits by the end of the year. So so the physical activity, you know, that's the first big one that, um, that I like to recommend to clients. Um, the next one is adding things into the diet it's so much more fun and appealing to <laughs> add something in than to remove something that is true and one challenge I really like to give to clients is to make sure they eat a fruit or vegetable at every sitting okay. and then once mm. they get good at that sometimes I do a vegetable at every sitting because that's pretty challenging to you know get the vegetable in at breakfast lunch dinner and yeah snack. Um, so I just want to talk about a few ways to do that you know if you're you're not used to a habit like that so mm -hmm. at breakfast you could do something like a smoothie right um, if you're really on the go there's even you know pre-made smoothies that you can buy that don't have any added sugar and just have fruits and veggies in them well mr. Seth Stutman is really committed to making his smoothie every morning that's great I'm trying hard yeah that's a good start I'm so, putting broccoli in it lately actually I used to do spinach oh, interesting. I think broccoli is less uh, has less taste in it than spinach oh that's uh -huh. great that's my tip for the day that's a great tip But you have better ones so why don't you keep <laughs> going um, and then of course we can you know make a colorful plate by adding fresh fruits and veggies to sandwiches adding um, adding some celery sticks or carrots to the mm -hmm. meal, but we could also do some things like hide vegetables in meals by putting them in soups and stews. Sneaky, okay. um, we can also exchange our traditional grain starch that we might have at lunch or dinner for a starchy vegetable, which are, you know, the only vegetables really in season, you <laughs> know, in oh, the winter. Oh, like the root vegetables, like the potatoes, sweet yeah, potatoes, all those right. things. Right, okay. we have a little acorn squash over here, and, and they've made little ways to make our, um, our starchy vegetables more easily accessible too. So right over there I have a sweet potato mm -hmm. that's already wrapped in plastic wrap that you just throw in the microwave and cook for five minutes and so. Oh you cook it in the packaging? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just uh, adorably packaged a uh, one off each. I've used those before. Yeah. 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 It, it works? Mm -hmm. Oh it works. It works. That would make me nervous with all the plastic in the micro. I don't know. Right. It's microwave safe. Okay cool. <laughs> then that's important. Too. Yeah. And then if you're you're really in a rush you know they do sell um, powdered vegetables too. So there's one over there, um, Greens Plus or Amazing Grass are two products that um, that are greens, but they're powdered, so you can just put them in a drink or in a smoothie. And so, if your last resort is, you know, you're on an airplane or something, and you're trying to get your veggies in, you can just put that in a bottle of water, or a bottle of coconut water, or something, and have that as your greens for the snack. Now, mm. Dr. Kristoff, uh, later in the show, we are going to be talking about the importance of physical activity, but we're also going to be making a delicious chocolatey treat. Tell us what it is. So we're going to be making a flourless chocolate cake with beet puree. So, um, right. and is it good? It is Ooh. delicious. With 
the beet puree? Yeah. All right. I might have eaten a little bit before. Nothing That's beaten. fine by us. <laughs> oh, that was a good joke. Nothing beats it up top. Uh, uh, I, remembered, I remembered that thing that I wanted to talk about at the beginning of the show. If you take a quick look at us right now, no one else got the memo, I'm going to be wearing different Christmas sweaters throughout the show today. <laughs> and, and both of you dressed like attractive people, uh, and I dressed like a big old Well, buffoon. no, it's because you're celebrating the ugly Christmas sweater once one last hurrah before yeah. next year. Yeah, all right. That's right. Looking good. Thank you very good. much. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks.